check my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop kind, I pop pistols. Take money promotions. I had to practice to come up, I'm on the roof to see the bottom Yo, these niggas be wildin', they really losing me Niggas that was saying they fuckin' with me was using me But that was way back when I used to be what I used to be They took the ladder off of the building and told us ketchup So I started flipping onions just so I can get my bread up But now I'm going ham in the building cause they ain't let us Sayin' fuck the mozzarella cause nigga I wanted cheddar My heart colder than a case of beers in the freezer This is how you niggas made me though, made me though. Yeah. I ain't no killer until a motherfucker give me a reason Nah, I never let them play me though play me And though. the other day this bitch gon' tell me she love me and then she said that she hate me and now she's saying I'm ugly before she wanted my baby. Niggas say I'm funny and telling me that they may be, but when I start going crazy, don't look at me like I'm crazy, nigga. Yeah, don't look at me like I'm crazy. My nigga moving that white, but don't look at him like he shady. My nigga move with that Tom, he'll figure how to go Brady and all of my niggas down to the max B. I'm wavy. I ain't saying I'm a player, but I'm kind of smooth. Shorty gave me head the other day. I wouldn't lie to you. I showed her where her knees and toes go when she riding you. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I'll body you. Yeah. They never told me that's the cash rules, niggas around me And I noticed that the girls, the girls, they love us I know this shit, but girl, you ain't my only bitch That wanna be my only bitch I did a couple niggas a favor, but they don't owe me shit Cross me and I number two on them Holy shit, oh well, waves on swim Moby dick, my heart 10 degrees in the summer And that's how cold it get Understand it, I'ma get it on my own And I know that you gon' feel me if you listen to the song They say words don't hurt you, but a stick could break a bone If they throw me in the jungle, I'ma make that shit my home And it's coke on the dishes, pocket full of wishes Got my heart broke, now I ain't fucking with you bitches And got my heart broken, now it's covered up in stitches And the only way to fix it Listen, I said many men Many, 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 many men Want my head, I'm just trying to get my bread up Niggas ain't all you got me fed up I swear these niggas got me fed up what about the times we was on the corner flipping quarters trying to get a half on sunny day? YouTube, my name is Bear Witness. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the best controller settings possible. Now, now, this is strictly opinionated, but I've noticed that ever since I started using these control settings, I have gone absolutely crazy. My shotgun aim has been pretty nasty lately. In fact, I very rarely miss shotgun bullets sometimes, uh, but I don't currently use a modded controller like a scuff or a cinch or anything like that. So because I don't use one of those controllers, I have to take my finger off the thumbstick. So when I do miss, it's usually because I have to make slight adjustments while trying to jump and stuff like that. But that's just, that's just my thing currently. But that's a cool thing because with these settings guys this is set in their design for when you don't have those types of controllers so when you do have those types of controllers you should slap even harder but before we get into the video and before we get into all the settings, I want to go ahead and tell you guys that if you guys are new to the channel, then make sure you guys go into the description and click that link so you guys can be entered into my new giveaway. We're doing that as of like the 2019 New Year's because last year was absolutely dope. I got so much support and I'm like, I want to give back. So in this situation, I decided to give back and the first thing that we're giving away is $25 of a gift card of your choice. So make sure you guys get that, get signed up with that, join up on the Bear Squad and that's all you guys have to do when it comes to that. Now, another thing guys, is one more thing, one more thing. Before I show you guys these absolutely nasty settings, I need you guys to do something for me. If this works for you, if you guys start slapping everybody you come in contact with, then I need you guys to come back to this video and comment down down below thanks bear or tell me how it went tell me exactly how you destroyed these people because that would make my day and it would be so dope and i would just appreciate all that but without that being said without further ado let's get into the video now i want to go over i'll show you guys a screenshot of the um the, of my settings themselves so you guys can either you know pause the video or you guys can listen to me talk but i'll keep it up for a little bit um but first things first we have our x and y sensitivity those are at 0.7 and 0.60 now it took me a long time to kind of get this tweaked out to where i wanted it but there's no need to really play on a high sensitivity anymore now back in the day when the game didn't have the different like building and you know aiming sensitivities where you had there were just one set sensitivity there was a big like you had to play on a high sensitivity in order to build and have you know a chance of you know winning most build fights in certain situations but with that you don't have to anymore in fact a lot of people are saying that the meta is going more towards being able to aim very well instead of being able to build very well because of how you know there's so many things that nerf building in a, in a way, you know, when it comes to the boombox and the dynamite and everything. So I play on a 0.7 and a 0.6. I think that this is very useful for me. I'm able to quickly adjust my shotgun shots. I'm able to, you know, it, it just works out very well. You guys can see it in the clips uh, at the beginning of the video. 
this this is probably the most fluid i've ever been when it comes to my fortnite sensitivities and because i've i've tried my best to not make these types of videos because i know that at most i'm an average player but these settings have turned me into pretty i pretty like oh i i even i'm impressed by, by myself so that that being said i really hope that this actually works for you guys now with the targeting sensitivity guys i go ahead and go with a point three and that's because i stem from back in the day when uh you know people played cod a lot and when you play cod one of the biggest things was to have a lower sensitivity so when you're fighting at a distance you you don't mess up your aim uh, so when it comes to that, I like to keep a low sense when it comes to the targeting aim. I just, I, I, it's natural for me. So I feel like that's, it might take some getting used to if you guys aren't used to playing some down low. Now this does differentiate sometimes on like when I feel like my aim is really off, I'll go down to point 20, but usually I try to stay at point 30. So there's that too. Now scope sensitivity is a totally different thing in itself. I like to lead my shots and I also like to be able to quickly snap onto people's heads. So with that, I use 0.65, but I feel like all of this is strictly like I want that's one it's one thing I want to say is that when it comes to sniping one, that's super preference based. But when it comes to all of these settings, it's super preference based. So you can tweak it, but these are the settings that have like like I said, have really seen made my game an improvement like so i think that you guys should definitely check these out and see how they work for you and hopefully they work well now building sensitivity i'm still working on becoming a better builder and i'm not gonna lie to you guys on that but right now is i i find that i'm able to win a lot of my build fights especially in solos and things like that um one is game sense and knowing what to build and when to build it and kind of like the muscle memory of it and then to uh the building sensitivity i think 1.5 is pretty is pretty good you know it, i don't think it has to be absolutely ridiculous like i said a lot of the time it's not how you build or how slow your editing sensitivity is or not editing but building sensitivity is it's about being able to be smooth with it knowing exactly what you want to do before you do it so that's kind of my biggest thing there but those are my general sensitivity settings guys or all of my settings guys so hopefully like i said this helps you guys out because i think that at this point everybody wants to just kind of be on that level of like i'm trying to find the best settings for me and i don't think that necessarily you can get that from a youtube video but i think that you can kind of be get in the ballpark you know what i mean so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys click a like down below as well as that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. With that being said, uh, thank you guys for checking out the video and I will see you guys next time. Peace.